five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Boy, I sure makes me feel sick to sing that song. Anyway, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Ramble. It goes until midnight Eastern Daylight Time on the East Coast of the United States of America. We're coming to you from New York, New York. The city's so nice, they named it twice. And you know what? Let's check in with an old friend, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, from San Francisco, California... The city's so nice, they only named it once. <laughs> Here's Larry <laughs> Bubbles Brown. Hello, Larry. Hello, Alex. Yes, that's uh, had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Got to work with your old buddy Jack Gallagher. Oh, really? We talked about last time. Yeah, yeah. How's he? He's doing great. Uh, he. We did talk about, uh, you know, his sitcom, which he said it actually did air. The... Uh, they pulled it before it was right before it was supposed to air, and then they uh, they ran it in the summer of six episodes. And oh. I guess there was some internal strife at ABC, and the guy that wanted the show on the air, the network didn't want it, so they kind of messed around with that to screw with him. And wow, but he said it actually uh, people that saw the show it wasn't bad. They thought it could have probably run for a couple of years. But well, I mean, look at sitcoms for crying out loud. They yeah. suck. <laughs> they, they're they all pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, how bad could that one have been, you know? Right. And, you know, the idea that you've got to make it in six episodes or even 12 episodes is ridiculous because, I mean, Seinfeld didn't find itself till about its third season. Exactly. The first two seasons, I, I watched them. They're really pretty bad. Yeah. As is, uh, the, you know who's at the bottom of the, was Cheers. Cheers? What? For, for the first first two seasons, I think they came in 82nd. Really? Yeah. So, yeah. But somebody thought, somebody hung with them, and then the show caught on. But. Well, we don't last, we don't, we don't um, uh, hold on to things very long, you know? I mean, if, if a show doesn't make it in its first couple of weeks, they cancel it. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and and uh, nothing has time to find itself. So Seinfeld would have, if, it, if they had canceled Seinfeld after the first two seasons, which if you remember, the first season was six episodes and the second season was six episodes. Right. They didn't even believe in it that much. And somehow, I don't know, it caught fire or something during the last couple of episodes. So they signed them on for a full third season. I think it was also because somebody at the network really liked it, you know. And uh, I think there's one guy. One guy really liked it, and the other just it wasn't testing well, and they didn't like it at the network. But this one guy did. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, I mean, um, uh, uh, Seinfeld would have never lasted past the first season if it were around today, and neither would have Cheers, right. for instance. I mean, I wasn't a big fan of Cheers, but I understand that it was a big hit, you know. Uh, me too. I didn't get into it, but it was huge at the time. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, so Gallagher, how did he say he took it at the time? Did he mention that at all? He said uh, he was really depressed, and then he, uh, out of the blue, he got a call from, remember David Brenner? Yeah. David Brenner was on a, a show I think that never aired called Snip, and uh, <laughs> because there was a gay character in it. Do you remember this with Tony Randall in the seventies? No, not at all. Oh, uh, well, wait a minute. No, I remember Tony Randall was in a series where he kind of played a gay guy for the first episode, and then they kind of yeah, changed so, it. Yeah, but they, they thought that so they, they that never aired, and uh, David Brenner called uh, Jack and said, "Hey." I know you feel suicidal now, but this happened to me, and don't worry, it'll get better. But it never did for Jack, did it? It never did. 
I mean, I don't want to be mean or anything, but his career has not been the kind of career that Jack Gallagher's career should have been considering how good Jack Gallagher is. True. He should have been in movies or TV. I, I, he seemed like a TV guy. but Yeah. Well, he went to Sacramento and hosted a TV show for years, didn't he? He hosted the lottery and a couple of local things up there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He still, still lives there. He had a daily show up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, a TV show, kind of interview thing, right. a lunchtime show. And then he also did the lottery. Yeah, I remember that. Did the lottery. So yeah. he's, he's done well, and he's got a really nice house up there. Yeah, but he should have done better. He was that good. You know, mm-hmm. and occasionally he does uh, Larry David. You know, curb your enthusiasm. He played his doctor for a number of seasons. Right, and uh, like you said, I, I've never heard anyone say a bad thing about Jack. <laughs> no, there is not a bad thing to be said about Jack. He's just a sweet, wonderful guy. Unlike Where you and I are hated by. <laughs> no, you're not hated. You're loved. You're beloved. <laughs> I'm the one that's hated. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been lightheaded for like the last week. And I'm I'm thinking it has something to do with the pollen. Can pollen do that uh, to you? Uh, oh, al- the allergies are just killing me, yeah. I mean, do you feel tired all the time? Uh, always tired. I'm exhausted. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I find that I'm, uh, uh, right now, I'm, I'm a little loopy, you know? Uh, oh, it can give you, like, mild flu symptoms. You just knocked her out. Yeah. I mean, I just, uh, so I, I don't know what it is, but all I know is that my, I, I can't, I have a hard time focusing. So, I don't know. Anyway. It's, it's, it's 99% of it's pollen, and I was reading that uh, part of the problem is when they planted trees in streets, the female trees drop a bunch of seeds, so yeah. they put, uh, so they planted mostly male trees and the male trees are the ones that dump all the pollen. Oh. That's why they have so many problems with allergies now. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, you know, all I know is that I, I've i been lightheaded all week and my eyes have been burning and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think I had a heart problem or something, but I don't. So, you know, you know I don't know what this is. Well, let's get a chainsaw and head to the park and yeah, well, you and I are. Are you are you a hypochondriac? Yeah, not as bad as I used to be, but. Uh, I thought you were going to say not as bad as you are. Uh, no, you, you're pretty bad too. But uh, when I was a kid, I was a horrible hypochondriac. I used to read medical books, and you know, you think you've got everything you read about. Well, at my age, I wake up every morning. Yeah, most people wake up every morning and go, "What will this day bring me today?" Right? <laughs> Mine is, what is it's going to kill me? You know? <laughs> like, I'm lightheaded this week. I figure it's something. This is it. You know? <laughs> it's a sign of something. So, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. But it certainly uh, bothers me. I think, it's, I think it's the pollen. You think it's the pollen? Yeah. For a week, well, it's yeah. It's raining today. The pollen should be damped down, tamped down. But it's supposed, you know. to, yeah. The rain, it's rained here, and it didn't seem to help me at all. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, no, it's going to clear the air. Well, you say it'll clear the air, but then of course it becomes sunny, and all that rain created more pollen. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's 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 terrible. It's terrible. So I'm just like you know dealing with this all week my eyes burning nose is dripping i'm tired all the time you know this uh, just i i I, well whatever so that's what i'm sticking to okay you well you've got the classic symptoms of allergies yeah so anyway you worked with uh, jack gallagher anybody else you've Mm -hmm. been working with lately uh Uh, nobody that you would know i don't think so yeah yeah Pretty much going to take the month of June off. Why? Because you don't have gigs or because you just want to take the month off? I didn't book. Yeah, I wanted to take a month off. I didn't book anything. Oh, okay. I got work work this week, and then that's it. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's terrific. Uh, Try to write a new, try to write something new. I don't know. How do you, how do you, do you write your act? 
I've tried to write. I, I, my best jokes come from if I I'll see something on TV and it'll I'll hover I'll just react to that. And when I try to consciously write stuff, nothing much comes. But up when you it. do when you see that and you 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 come up with a joke for it, do you write it down so you don't forget it? Yeah, if you because if you don't, you do forget it. But uh, I remember one night I saw an ad on TV that uh, a PSA that said. Uh, 15% of Americans suffer from dyslexia. So I immediately thought, 15%? Wow, just over a half. <laughs> that's, uh, but that's how I got the joke from seeing this PSA. You yeah, know? And I just, yeah. <laughs> which they wouldn't let me do. They wouldn't let me do that joke on Letterman because they, they said they didn't want to offend dyslexic people. I remember that. Really? Yeah, I was quite peeved at that. So. Yeah, that's a good joke. Yeah, I think it's one of my better ones, and it. Uh, and it like I've done it. On and that. if I were dyslexic, uh, that would make sense. <laughs> yes. So uh, who's who? Uh, dyslexic? Gee, they're going to say somebody who finally understands me. You know. So. <laughs> uh, but do you carry a do you carry a little notepad with you and stuff? Where I do you have go? a notepad, and I have uh, yeah, but just. Sitting down trying to consciously write material is just the hardest thing in the world. Uh, you know what you could do today if you had a, a, an iPhone? You could dictate these things into the iPhone. Yeah, although my flip phone actually does hold uh, 30 seconds of dictation. <laughs> Mine holds 20 hours. Come on! <laughs> 20 hours. It's just, my flip phone has 30 minutes. How old is that phone? It's about seven years old. Oh, really? Oh, it's a fairly mm. modern flip phone. Was it new when you bought it, or was it, it what? It was new, yeah. And then I had one before that that lasted 10 years. Uh-huh. And so the rest of us, you know, have been trying to get you into, like, you know, smartphones. Yeah. Right? And uh, you don't seem to be cottoning to that idea that much. Well, I think I am because Jack was doing some stuff when he did this gig Saturday night, and I just thought, wow, that'd be kind of cool. So uh, our, your old buddy Larry Stoll has worked at Sprint, so he's trying to find something for me that I, even I could figure out how to operate. iPhone would be the simplest. They're all simple. They're all made for, for idiots, you know? Not that I'm calling my audience an idiot, but if you have a <laughs> smartphone, uh, they, you know. Well, they have to be. It's a mass product. Yeah. And and so it, it, it is simple to uh, to operate. And, um, you know, you you could understand it without too much trouble, I think. I don't know. My sister's got an iPhone, and I didn't like it. What didn't you like about it? It didn't look that easy to me. And I didn't like it. It was small, and I didn't like the I don't know. What do you mean? Well, it's small. Your flip phone is probably, you know, three, uh, one inch across or something. Yeah, but if you're going to do something on a screen, you got to have a little more. I like the Samsung. has got some huge phone. And that'll look pretty cool. Well, the phone yeah. I was going to give you here uh, uh, is uh, the largest one they make, practically. Almost. Yeah. Not yeah. quite now. You know. But they're, you know, they're they're very simple to, to operate and to work. You know, basically they work as a phone, but then you've got all the other things. They're also a camera. They're also, uh, you know, for you can dictate with them. You can do a lot of things with them. But I'm not going to sell you on it because you're so fighting this, aren't you? I'm a lot. Of, you know, I hate change. Well, it isn't a matter of change. Well, I embrace change, you know. Oh, I mean, I don't like Trump, if that's considered change, but, you know, um, I I embrace change to a certain extent. Um, change, I don't, I never, it never seems to be better. That's why I don't like change. Boy, you're an, you were an old fart when you were a kid, right? I was like this as a kid, yeah. Yeah, it's not like he's just suddenly, as he's gotten older, he's become this curmudgeon who says, get off my lawn. <laughs> You know, you were always boring, a, cranky. Well, you were always a a curmudgeon. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, do and you, that's why I'll die alone. So, do you pay any attention to politics out there? 
Yeah, I know what's going on. It's just, uh, I know Trump's got everyone roiled up, and it looks like the, I don't know if the Democrats have, right now, it looks like he could win again. Well, I mean, who who's out there? You know. Yeah, I, got, I don't know if the country is going to go for a socialist. Bernie, he, and Bernie and Biden are both like, aren't they? They're pretty, getting pretty old. Biden is uh, so old, he's almost as old as I am. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> really? And I would never run for president, especially feeling loopy like I do today, you know. I could push you the button. want to be loopy when you're near the button. I could push the button by accident, <laughs> you know. Whoops, sorry. Oh, geez. Well, we're in a nuclear holocaust now. We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I just, um, uh, I, you know, uh, and I get this. My wife, my ex-wife, Ronnie, gives me a bad time for this when I say that Biden's too old and Bernie's too old. And she doesn't like that because she writes a, a blog called timegoesby.net in which she talks about what it's like to get old and she defends aging and so on and so forth. And she says, how can you say that that's so ageist? I said, how's it ageist? I mean, it's like me being anti-Semitic. You know, I can't be. I'm Jewish. You know, mm -hmm. and I can't be ageist because I'm 79. But I know what it's like to be 79, and I don't know that a person of that age has the energy in this day and age to be president. I mean, I think they could have been back in... 1928 when things weren't as complicated and your day wasn't as uh, as choked up with things to do and there wasn't international politics and so on and so forth you know but today that's a job for a young man i'm sorry you know? yeah if you ever see uh, pictures of any president just how much they age in those four years is amazing well i i disagree with you because we see pictures of them actually it's eight, like eight years but in eight years, you do your hair can go gray at that age, you know. I mean, Obama didn't have gray hair when he uh, when he started out, right? And he wound up having a very nice uh, gray hair as he's gotten older. But that was that was eight years, and now that's ten years ago. So that's a lot of time to pass while you're president. Uh, but none of them look healthier than when they started. But then again, none of them were as young as when they started. So. We could be imposing upon that our own set of qualifications, you know, things like that. So. Well, you could be right, though. I mean, there, you have to be a certain age to be president. Maybe there should be a maximum age to be president, too. Uh, I, yes, I would say that's, that's well, it, I, yeah, I, you know, they, they don't do that, though. They've never done that. They've never had a maximum age. They figure nature will take care of that for them. Right. You know, uh, but, I mean, I, I, you know, Biden is, what, 70? Seven. 77? Well, let's mm -hmm. say he becomes president in two years. he will be 79. That's the same age so I be, am. And then... He'd be 88 at the end of his second term. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. You know, and the same thing holds true for Bernie. But, you know, I mean, like, I like this, this young gay guy, Buttigieg. 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 But I wouldn't think he, he would have a chance, would he? Well, I think he does. You know, I mean, you would have said that about Obama at this point, you know, uh, because he was the lesser known of, of the people. But if you have heard this guy talk, He's smart. He's sharp. Um, he takes on the president beautifully. I mean, he called him the other day. He called him a draft dodger. Wow. You know, he and he, he and he had every right to say that because he served two terms in Afghanistan. So, uh, you know, I, he's gay, but that doesn't seem to bother anybody. You know, uh, and he's smart. He's sharp. Um, why not? He's 36, something like that. Very young. Uh, and, and I think, you know, could, could handle the job. Certainly has much more experience at running things than Trump ever had. He couldn't even run a company well without it going belly up. 
<laughs> you know. Well, what's the, let's see, so we've had a black president, and uh, what would be the least likely if you... Oh, a Jewish, a Jew, Jewish president. A Jewish? Yeah. So that, that would knock Bernie out. Uh, yeah, but he's not exactly that Jewish, you know. <laughs> it, 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 he is Jewish, isn't he? See, I even have yeah. to think about it because I don't perceive of him as Jewish, particularly. Um, been in, he's been in Vermont too long. He lost his Jewish roots. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. You know, I think that he. Um, uh, I mean, I you know I like Bernie's politics, but I don't like. I don't think Bernie's that winnable. Okay, I think Trump could just go after him, big time, and and decimate him. Whereas with uh, Buttigieg, there's very little he can latch on to. What that he's gay? That wouldn't play well. Okay, hey, you know what, what's he gonna do? Go, oh, queer boy. What's what's the name he's gonna give him? You know? Yeah, no. I just want to. But do you think a gay? I do, I'm just wondering how Middle America would. I think that. I think Middle America is a lot more forgiving than you would ever believe. You know, I think they they feel if this guy is capable of doing the job and giving us jobs, uh, we'll uh, we'll vote for him. So he's simply mm -hmm. got to make his case, and he doesn't hide the fact that he's gay. Uh, in fact, he's seen with his uh, significant other, or his husband actually, and. Uh, they're very together with each other, and uh, but they, they don't seem to be flaunting it in people's faces. They're just saying, hey, this is what we are. This is who we are. And then everything else, he just talks about stuff. And he doesn't come across having that kind of fey gay thing, you know, that some people affect. I say affect because I think it is an affectation. Much like when a bunch of cops get together, they all talk the same way. That's an affectation as well. So I'm not saying anything out of school here. But he doesn't come across as being particularly gay or straight, you know. He comes across as a good-looking guy who graduated, I think, from Harvard, had two terms in, uh, in Afghanistan, two tours in Afghanistan, speaks seven different languages, you know. Uh, what's, what, what can Trump possibly go after him on other than he's young? That's about it. Yeah, you could. So, and he's mayor of a small city. I was going to say not much experience, but then Trump had no experience. No experience, and and even less at at being successful at business. I mean, people get the idea that Trump was successful at business, but that was his business was giving you the idea he was good at business. And then he would put his name on buildings, or he people would pay him to put his name on their buildings. Now they're paying him to take them off. <laughs> Really, down here in um, New York, on the on the uh, west side, this thing called Trump City, uh, and all those buildings are residential buildings, and they have the name Trump on them. And I had some friends at one; they all got together and they petitioned and got the name Trump removed from the building, saying it lowered the property values. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> and they won. So he, uh, they're tearing his name down off of buildings left and right. Because they don't find that that Trump name is uh, a sellable name, you know. And uh, well, it's a lightning rod now. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you don't want to, uh, yeah. The name Trump on a building says "bomb me first," you know. <laughs> yeah, so you don't want that. Oh, what? My phone is going off. Oh, that's my uh, that's my uh, iPad. Somebody's calling me, but fuck it, we're almost through here anyway, so. We are, yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, any place you're playing that people might be able to see you that we could talk about? Is that thing ever going to stop? I will be uh, the, the Five Sons Brewery in Martinez on Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, Five Sons Brewery in Martinez? Yes, and I find, finding breweries and wineries are great places to do comedy shows. Why is that? They pay good? I, I think the audience are a little, maybe a little smarter, not quite as, even though they're breweries, they're not not hard alcohol, so they're not like roaring drunk. And yeah. Gallagher was telling me this. He loves to play gigs like that. Do, do, you, do they pay okay? Yeah, they pay much better than the clubs, actually. Really? Really? Oh, yeah. 
And so are you there? Are you the headliner? Or are you? Uh, yeah, I am, yes. And uh, I'll try to fill 40 minutes if I can remember that anymore. And, <laughs> but it's, uh, you know, the clubs are, you get to a point, I think, where you are too old to play the clubs. Yeah. Yeah. There and was you... a, there was a convention of comedy club owners and bookers, and they had these consultants, and they, they said the average age of a person that goes to a comedy club is 25. If they walk in and see someone on a stage that's 50, they feel like they've made a mistake. Well, yeah. Uh, I suppose that guy is Seinfeld. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My case is made. You know, they either laugh or they don't laugh, and they feel they either got their money's worth or they don't have their money's worth. Uh, what, what, you're not going to hire Lu- you're not going to hire Lewis Black. Yeah, exactly. That's why I thought. Uh, of course, you know this running uh, on radio. I thought consultants ruined <laughs> were a big part of ruining radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep keep me away from consultants. Hey, we've run out of time. We've run out of time. We just run out of time, ladies and gentlemen. He's wonderful. He's marvelous. He's Larry Bubbles Brown. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Alex. Let's get our pollen medicine. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, and that, of course, Larry Bubbles Brown. We love Larry. Let me uh, get my microphone up a little bit here so that you can hear me. Uh, and uh, we uh, we talk to Larry at least once a week because we really like him. Okay, all right. Let me uh, turn on the Skype line, see if anybody wants to call tonight. If nobody does, I can close the show early and go to sleep. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. I uh, boy, my ears are all plugged up. It's it's uh, it's some kind of uh, season, but I haven't figured out what season it is yet. Duck season. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, we're waiting for people to call, uh, and uh, we create a what's called a citizen panel, which looks something like this. But you see, nobody's there right now, so I'm the only one. So I'm just waiting for these people to start calling in. Usually Phil is the first one that calls in, but uh, maybe somebody will beat him to it tonight. That would be, that would be a delight, wouldn't it? Uh, so I just sit here and I wait. I say that the lines are now open. And then I freeze. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Is there anything I need to talk about, uh, tell you about? Oh, here comes somebody. Here comes somebody. Hear that? Oh, what do you know? It's Charlie Wallace. He's the first one calling. What do you know? Hello, Charlie. How are you? And Jeff Stein is calling. Uh, let me see here. Jeff is calling. Uh, let me see. Did we get Jeff? Uh, yeah, we got Jeff there. And uh, I've got to. I've got to somehow put put Jeff in a uh, uh, in a in a thing here so that he's part of the citizen panel. I, we've got some kind of uh, slapback going on here. But anyway, here's our here's our panel so far, ladies and gentlemen. There they are. See, there they are. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Okay, and now uh, who was that? Phil Meyer. Uh, yeah, but it said it missed the call. Uh, try, <clears throat> try calling again, Phil. They they told me they wrote me a thing at um, at Skype today saying that they had done something to improve things, but I'm still getting this missed calls, but a lot of the people are immediately put on the, uh, on the thing. Now, I, I guess I better call uh, him back. Uh, well, no, it doesn't say he even called. So I have no idea what, uh, what we're doing here. See, I mean, this is, this is I, it, having to play with this for a while, Phil... Um, that pill I took right down. Pill Meyer. Okay, Phil Meyer. There we go. Uh, let me uh, add him and see what happens. We're calling Phil Meyer. I don't know what happened to him. He called and um, then it didn't didn't uh, grab on, which it should have. Uh, and he's not answering, so he must have something wrong with his. Uh, he must have something going wrong with his. Uh, uh, Skype or something. Anyway, hello to uh, Jeff and hello to uh, 
Well, I'm going to stop calling Phil Meyer here. Hold on a okay. second. Let me see here. Uh, remove. Oh, there we go. He just here joined. Is. Okay. What happened to you the first yeah. time? Uh, I realized that uh, I didn't have my earphones. Oh, um, well, you made me think. I didn't have my water. You made me think it didn't It didn't go for you, you know? Oh, well, he, uh, it was ringing, and, uh, you know, you but, weren't uh, no, but I didn't, you weren't answering, so I figured, all right. Uh, what do you mean it, well, I wasn't answering? It answers. Yeah, I answered. Uh, I, I kept ringing. I answered it. Oh, yeah. well. Uh, well, anyway. Okay. But they supposedly, they told me at Skype, I've been having an ongoing discussion with people at Skype, believe it or not, Mm -hmm. uh, in the engineering department. And, so and I told them I still get the missed call sign, but somehow people get added to the group. So at least that part is fixed. And they, up, they upgraded the latest version of my Skype preview. So, you know. Well, I, I just uh, upgraded the Skype tonight, and uh, it looks nice. Uh, you know, I don't have any circles yet. Oh, well, we don't have enough people for circles yet. Yeah. Would people like to... Join the circle, jerk. Uh, oh, of course. Give us a uh, give us a call. Um, All right. Is this uh, going to be a, a Mueller uh, report night, or uh, uh, we going to do that later? Uh, why? You, you you have something to talk about? Oh sure. You know, I, I mean, you know, you guys have the Democratic spin on it, which is uh, get the pitchforks and torches. And, good to me. And, and I have the thing that says, hey, the guy's got rights. You can't just crucify him. You no, know? Uh, but nobody said that they were just going to crucify him. Well, I, you know, I hope they get Mueller uh, in front of Congress and that uh, he could be asked questions by both sides. And uh, because the, uh, the speech that he gave today was definitely a cloudy. Um, you know, it just didn't, it wasn't uh, cloudy at all. Well, to oh. a Democrat, you know. Cause well, you're, to a you're, Democrat, you're because, because uh, no, because it didn't, you. no, it was cloudy to you because it didn't say what you wanted it to say, Phil. Oh, no, 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 that, it, it's, okay, uh, obviously there's an impasse here. No, there's no uh, impasse. You, you, there, there, there are things, and now I have to admit, it, it's, I, I, it hate getting, I hate getting into it this early. Okay, because well, we we'll still got another hour and a half of this show, and I'm dog tired again. <laughs> I've got this Tay Sachs disease or whatever it is I've got. Yeah. Uh, you know. You know. Uh, I, I, and and I well, figured. Don't you get tired when you got Alzheimer's? I figured when I started getting tired, then we could bring that up, and you would go on a nonstop binge, and I could just sit back and do nothing. You yeah. Know? Okay. Well, uh, take your take your rest. You're gonna need it. <laughs> so. What do you mean I'm gonna need it? Why? Well, because I think I got a pretty decent defense of, uh, no, and, no, and not no. only a defense, an offense uh, for uh, this uh, uh, thing that Mueller said today. Uh, an oh. offense for what he said? He was, he said, yeah, you know, an he, offense for Trump. I think what he was there Mueller. to do was to uh, announce that his investigation has come to a close. Yes, and that it, they should look at Russia. Yeah, they should look at Russia. You know, they won't, but they should. Yeah. Well, Trump is talking about looking at Russia and the collusion between uh, those that uh, like Comey and Clapper and, uh, you know, the, the rest of the gang. Really? Yeah. Now he's talking collusion, huh? Of course. <laughs> That's what it's been all along. But the uh, the story has been, you know, sometimes when the guilty person usually accuses the innocent person of the same things that they're accusing them of, you know, because they're guilty. Trump wouldn't even be president without Comey. His stupid re re reopening an investigation against Hillary is what I, I don't think top. anybody that voted for Hillary would have voted for Trump. Uh, you know, it's uh, no, but there was a Comey... Phil, Phil, there was that that middle ground of people who went, well, sh Trump or or Hillary, Trump or Hillary, Trump or Hillary. Oh, Hillary, they're investigating her again? Yeah, maybe I'm better off with Trump. I mean, there are those, you know, you, you're not going to win an election with the people from either side who are dyed-in-the-wool Republicans, dyed-in-the-wool Democrats. You've got to get those people in the middle who waffle yeah. back and forth. And in that waffle, the Comey thing didn't help. No. But uh, what Comey did 
was uh, exactly kind of what Mueller just did to Trump, Comey did to Hillary. You know, I understand that they're not supposed to involve themselves when they were with the DOJ, and and, and they're not supposed to uh, make judgments and involve themselves as to uh, an outcome. They either decide that they're going to prosecute or they decide that they're not. You know that it, you know there's something prosecutable. Well, here, here's what I did today. Uh, the minute that I heard Mueller, okay, yeah. I decided not to go to MSNBC. Although I went there for a few minutes, I said I'm going to go to Fox. Yeah, I'm going to see how they parse this thing, and maybe mm-hmm. they'll convince me that there's another story here. And they were doing such a bad job of it. They were hemming and hawing, trying to excuse the stuff that Mueller had said. On the other hand. You go over to MSNBC, and they're doing the uh, the disaster end of the story, you know, about, oh, you see, uh, Mueller, blah, 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 blah. And all I know is what I heard was Mueller saying that so far as collusion was concerned with the Russians, we couldn't find evidence of that. But all when right. it came to uh, him, uh, 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 what's the word? Obstructing, uh, obstructing the investigation. Uh, I cannot indict uh, because that is not my job, and because it is a, uh, a a rule of law of the Justice Department that you don't indict a sitting president. That is the job of the Congress. Right. Okay. And so what he was literally doing was saying, I couldn't find anything, and what I found out about the obstruction of justice that made me think anything other than there's, you know, he was basically saying that he he found nothing that found Trump innocent of that. Right. Okay, and that it's up to the Congress to decide what to do with it. Are you innocent until proven guilty? Yes, but no, you're not innocent until proven guilty. You're, uh, when it comes to impeachment, there's no such thing as innocence because that is is simply, it's an indictment. When right, you go to the Mueller's, Senate, Mueller's job is not to. No, impeach. he he said he wasn't. That wasn't his job. Was right. not he to. He said in, from the start he wasn't going to indict the president. No, he couldn't do it according to the memo of the OLC. I guess. Right. He said from the start when he first took the job, he knew that he was not going to indict the president, no matter what the what the information was. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, I, I I hope, you know, that in, now Trump had said that he, a couple days ago, that he wanted transparency and he declassified. Do you believe that? Well, oh, that's just he cool. says he declassified everything uh, so that it could be looked into. So if it's declassified, it's all, you know, all of that stuff, everything is open to, to investigation. He didn't declassify what was redacted from the motor. He couldn't. That, um... Uh, uh, what do they call that uh, jury, grand jury? Well, that, Certain, no, they, there's all kinds of stuff that had nothing to do with the grand jury. There is no reason, people, there's people, no, they, Phil, there is no reason, charge. there's no legal reason why they can't let the Congress privately see the full Mueller report, yep. unredacted. Okay? Well, I, I'm sure they will soon, as soon as the uh, grand jury information is no longer... Uh, 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 that has nothing, to. that really has nothing to do with it. You know, we don't know that what he redacted had anything to do with that. And and really, there's no reason why people or members of Congress who are sworn to not release it can't mm-hmm. look at it. Look at it. You mean go, like Leahy? Go over what, to what the... What do they call him? Uh, Le- Le- Leahy the leaker? Uh, you know, Le- uh, Leahy has, uh, you know, quite a reputation. There we go. What for... about ism? No, you're asking me. Members of Congress are trusted. This guy's on the committee, Patrick Leahy. Mm-hmm. He's well, on the committee. What did and he, he's a leaker? What did he leak? He's never leaked. What did he leak? Uh, I'll I'll look up. Oh, you got to look it things. up. You can't. You just you just. He's a leaker. He's a leaker. What yeah. were you going to say, Charlie? You said he's not a leaker, right? No. Uh, what did he ever leak? Well, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what he leaked as soon as I look it up. I happen to know that he leaked confidential information. Uh, hmm. And so we'll, we'll look well, I'm that glad up. You, I'm glad you're in the know on that. It, yeah. hmm. well, we, could, we could use some more hey, callers what do you here, think folks. you get for free, you know, <laughs> on this panel? What kind, of, what kind of research do you think you get for the price that you pay? 
All right. Well, what I get well, for well, the well, price that I pay it. is the price that I pay. <laughs> well, what it's... Father did say is that if they had found proof that Trump did not obstruct justice, they would have said so. Yeah, he that, that's that basically. They said that specifically. Phil's not listening. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Uh, yeah, okay. Patrick Leahy leaks intelligence. Uh, okay. Give me a second. Oh, was, uh, I, uh, Iran Contra I hearing says he leaked the report. When was so, this? Uh, Iran Contra. Iran, Iran Contra. Contra. How many years ago was that? It doesn't matter. It was one, thirty one, fucking one, years ago, he's Phil. Still a leaker. Well, you're just jealous because you're right. because you leak all the, the time. The panel. You leak all the time. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have to wear a diaper. Yeah, you, you <laughs> just let that spot well up in your khakis. Is that what happens? Uh, yeah. Well, I I actually wear good underwear that uh, gets rid of it. Come on, folks! I don't want to have to fight this all alone. We need more people yeah. on the citizen panel tonight. Uh, you here? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, it, it, he's here. He's yeah. chopped liver, you know. Yeah, now, well, that's why I didn't want to get into this time. early because you know, there's enough. You know, there probably will be more people later. Oh, maybe. You know. Hopefully. Well, no, they're all watching the Mueller report rerun. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I, I I felt that he was uh, he was trying to. He wasn't trying to f uh, throw uh, anybody to the wolves. At the, on the other hand, he wasn't about to say that his report wasn't about finding stuff and that they did find stuff, but he cannot use it to indict anybody, and that is the job of the Congress. Good. Let and, them look into it. I hope they do. Uh, uh, you know. Oh, he, I think right now we're heading towards impeachment. Well... I, you know, impeaching and having a panel that looks into impeaching, because what can you impeach for? High crimes and misdemeanors. If he, uh, no, all, treason. Uh, Phil, justice Phil, obstructing crime. justice. It, no. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Phil, okay. listen to me. It's, it, you, can, you can charge him with obstruction of justice. Look what they, look the, what the flimsy little thing they indicted uh, 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 Cl Clinton on. Because Clinton did obstruct justice. How did he do it? One. He lied. One little lie. Well, that's that was okay. That was, All right. Was a well, trap. well, there are a lot. Of, there are trap. a lot of lies <laughs> here that have been perperpetrated by your pal Trump, and oh. and uh, all I'm saying is that it doesn't take a lot to indict. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that is simply the uh, suspicion uh, that there is some guilt to be looked into, and then the Senate looks into it. And because they're all Republicans, he's not going to get. Uh, he's not going to uh, get. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's, that's not the thing. Major Garrett, uh, which is a CBS guy, right? He now, was at right? Fox. He was at Fox, but he's been pretty anti-Trump. He said today that you know you can scream, "I want to fire Mueller." Uh, you can scream, I, I don't want you to do this, and I don't want you to do that. But the bottom line is, he didn't do anything. And that's exactly what Garrett said, was that, you know, you can, you can say you don't want these things done, but either you do or you don't. And, he, and Garrett said, he didn't. Are you guys, so are you guys, are you guys, are you guys, are you guys, people to fire yeah. Mueller? No, yeah. it doesn't, it, he didn't fire Mueller. The bottom line is it's not what you say, it's what you do. Are you guys as bored as I am? Well, you just don't like the argument being yeah. uh, rebutted. No, you it know, is, you're, you're not rebutting an well, argument, not, Phil. You're just, you're just trying to filibuster. I gave you what, uh, what this Major Garrett said. So why, why do I necessarily right. have to believe? It doesn't is. mean he's right. doesn't mean I have to listen to fucking Major Garrett. Well, it's it's the uh, rebuttal to uh, the pitchforks and 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 uh, spears, you know. And what torches. pitchforks and spears? Uh, you know, you know let, let me let me be let, let's be honest about this, Phil. Castle. If our president committed some crime, okay, and the and the Senate feels he committed a crime, this isn't this isn't a witch hunt, and it isn't pitchforks, and it isn't Salem. It is the job the Congress has to do. Good. Let them do it. Well, they probably they are going. I'm sure they're going to. Yeah, that's what I said. Let, let them, them do, do it. it. 
You know, I, actually, I wish they'd subpoena Mueller. I want all the stuff to come out because if Trump is guilty, then you know he should be impeached. If, if Trump is guilty, guilty, if Trump is guilty, you'll never admit it, Phil. That's not true. No, you'll never admit it. Well, I don't have to admit it because he's not guilty. Oh, boy. This is what I have to live with, folks. We could use some more callers if there's anybody out there tonight. What is it? Wednesday nights usually get to be the light night. I don't know why. Wednesday it's light? Tuesday. Huh? No, it's not Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, Wednesday. This is Wednesday. We had a holiday. Wednesday? Monday was a holiday. Oh, yeah, that's right. You retired, guys. God. <laughs> what year is it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, uh, do you now with these lapses of memory, uh, do you feel tired? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I feel very tired all the time. I just I don't yeah. know why. Uh, you might Marjor have Marjorie thinks it's, I'm depressed is what she thinks. Well, that's that's a possibility. But you might also yeah, have a vitamin deficiency. Tired. Are you still exercising? I'm taking vitamins. Yeah, I went and exercised today. Yeah. So that's one more time than you did in the last month. Uh, the last several months. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But uh, come on, folks. I walked the dog. Huh? I walked the dog. You really? Good yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. phone tells me how many steps. I uh, I had um, uh, like 8,000 steps. Mm -hmm. I don't know what By that By the means. way, folks, <laughs> folks, look at that. See, there's some blank spaces up there on the next, pan next uh, uh, template that I have here. Oh, so, I'm still looking at the old at the at the three template. It, yes, because I just changed it, Phil, and there's like 30 seconds difference. Haven't you learned that after all these years? Yeah, but why would you change it? Nobody else called. Uh, well, because I wanted to show people that that's where we would fill people in if people uh, would call. That is that called the Alex Misery Index? I, I don't know why <laughs> I do this if they don't call in great numbers. We haven't had a full house in weeks. Yeah, we nine wow. yesterday, I think. No, we didn't have nine yesterday. No, no, it wasn't. No, last week. Until Ray hung up, we had nine. No. I don't think so. Not even no, close to it. I think we only had six. Yeah. Do you want to see the panel when I, when I, when I, when I, can, I, could, uh, I could do uh, a, uh, a full uh, house? It would be this. I want to see the 12 it'd panel. be like that, see. <laughs> it'd be there. Yeah. I could do, well, they would, no, that wouldn't even be it. Seven to eight. Yeah, eight, nine. Yeah, with me it would be nine, but that wouldn't be right. Full the house. full house is the ten. Is the ten, which would be this one, uh, which uh, the reason why you see uh, Jeff twice is because he's in one of those things. Sir, I can... he's so good you get double. Huh? <laughs> he's so such a good analyst. You got to have double Jeff. Yeah. So anyway, folks, give us a call so we can fill up the squares. Okay. We double will, jeopardy. You know, if if we oh here we go. Here comes, who's this? Well, we'll see. This is uh, somebody that we haven't had before, but uh, yes. Who, uh, oh, wait a minute, who, who is this? Wait a minute. It's Al. Al. Uh, it's Al? Al, would Al you, Franken. Would you, would you turn, <laughs> wait a minute, hold on a second. Like let me uh, give oh, you yes. a, let me give you That's a square. Al K from the chat Shut room. up. Hey. Uh, Alan K. Roger, or what is it, Alan... Okay. Just say gay. Would you turn your camera sideways so that we don't uh, get you? Uh... Yeah, there we go. There. That's fine. That's good. I'm going to turn on the air conditioner. I turned it off because it's only like 56 degrees outside, but it's humid. So yeah. there, I just turned on the air conditioner. Earthquake weather. Maybe it's tornado weather. Huh? Tornado it's... weather. Tornado weather? Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Al, have you called before? Nope, so, not. So that's a first-time caller, and he just got right on with me clicking that. Oh, so, oh, big yeah. bag boom. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Big bag boom, right on. So, so you've been listening to what's been going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's such fun listening to Phil, yes, I know. And what, what do you mean? Al, are <laughs> you from Queens or Staten Island? Yorktown. Oh, I mean, Yorktown? Let me, uh, let, let, me, let me do this. I know. Continental Village. There I know it, another place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, you're in California? Where are you calling from, Al? I am from Yorktown. Yorktown. That's yeah, in... Yeah. Taconic. Oh, that's, that's right. It's in New York. 
Yes. Oh, I you see. I mean, I, I I don't. You know, it's funny. Uh, I, I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, right? And yes. I every now and then hear about a city in California, and I never heard of the city. Does that happen to you, Phil? Yeah. I you know there were Spanish Indian names. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in in California, I mean, you know, they lost <laughs> Lopos. Heard. Lamba. Yeah, <laughs> right. Lamba. Right. So anyway, so I uh, uh, I just, you know, uh, so when you talked about York, New York, I don't... I, no, he's in Yorktown. Yorktown, New York. Yeah, what, it's yeah. up, uh, it's like on 202 in, uh, t- in the Taconic Parkway. The Taconic Bingo. Parkway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you grow up there? Oh, absolutely. Did you go to Yorktown High School? I sure did. Oh, I went to Lakeland. I yeah, I heard that. So oh, okay. listen, Al. Yeah, in, in your, travels. In your in your uh, considered yes, yes, opinion is you're famous. <laughs> in your uh, considered opinion is uh, is um, Phil full of shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, is a, this is a kangaroo court here. You know. I, I, what do you I, mean it's a kangaroo court? It's not a kangaroo court. It's stacked. <laughs> it's a, the, the, these are people, the rest of the people on this panel, Phil, are people of great logic and, uh, and observation. Uh, don't and speak truth. for yourself. You, you know, I mean, I can't tell you how many people write me and say, mm-hmm. you're a fucking moron. Well, you know, that's because you attract <laughs> morons and they think everybody else is a moron. Wait a minute. You can't just say that my people are morons because they called you a moron. <laughs> Hey. And and let me let I me put I. okay let me throw this back at you and say well then it takes one to know one. Uh, is that so? Yeah. Uh, well, Tony would say you're a poo poo head. Oh uh, yeah. So. And then I would say his wallpaper sucks. Okay. <laughs> Man, that wallpaper's scary, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, ugly. ugly. Al, what year did you graduate from Yorktown High? Nineteen and seventy-five. Oh, okay. You're younger than me. Uh, yeah, a few years. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I should do? I should get uh, I should get um, um, Tony to take yeah. a photograph of his wallpaper and then send it to me, and then I could put it up on the on the cabinet and let people download it as a screensaver. <laughs> Did you have an idea for a website uh, about paint drying? Well, maybe you should have one about wallpaper peeling. Yeah, well, no, yeah. I, I was gonna, I, I was gonna do what I call the slow channel. There actually is one in, um, in I think Denmark. And what I was gonna do is like, for instance, one day I, uh, I shot a live camera out my window from the guest room, uh, at the, at the building across the street where snow was melting and I took a video of snow melting and I just titled it <laughs> slow TV snow melting and I got the snow melting and Ugh. you know we could do other things like uh, I don't know um, Phil trying to take a pee that might be one I, uh, no, 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 no. I don't have the prostate anymore I'm like a fire hose you like a fire hose, yeah. <laughs> Except you don't have a, a valve to shut it off. That's the problem. Well, it runs I'll out once in a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. You got all that under control now? Is the bladder holding up now? I mean, yeah, but um, I can't. Um, I can't do certain bodily functions like pass gas without it leaking over. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but uh, it's not too bad. So this is what I have to look forward to if they want to remove my prostate. Although my de- my doctor they're, says they're not going to do that. My yeah. doctor says they'll never do, remove my prostate. No, nah, no. Nah. If if you end up with Alzheimer's, they'll just uh, stick a hose up there and let you sit in the chair. Yeah, but I, the thing is that that uh, um, um, I, if that happened, I you know I mean it, 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 the fact that when you uh, do when you laugh, do you pee too? Could so it could happen? Yeah. Okay, let's try and get him to laugh tonight, <laughs> and then you can tell us when you peed your pants. All right. So this is the uh, the the pee meter. Yeah. So people call people. Call, I'm sitting a, here drinking water. Here's a you good know. reason for people to call up to tell funny jokes to do things mm-hmm. that, that might works. make him. Well, you're I, drinking I, liquid. Yeah. Do you know any comedians? 
Do I know any comedians? Ah. <laughs> yeah. no. No. There, there was a TV show where they used to try to tell jokes to make the person laugh. If they couldn't make them laugh in 60 seconds, they won the money you, or something. You know what I saw tonight? That A&E is running a documentary. They're doing biography again. And yeah. they did the biography of Sam Kinison. And That's who did, a buddy of yours. Who did they ha- yeah, who did they have talking about wow. Sam Kinison? But Mark Maron. And they listed him as comedian friend slash friend on the yeah. Sam <laughs> Kinison documentary. Now, I've told you before the story about Sam Kinison and Mark Maron. Yeah. That he hated him so much... <laughs> he went up to his. Uh, he was up at the. Uh, up at the oh, didn't he? Did the, not the guy he peed in the bed? Yeah, he peed in Mark Maron's oh, at, bed at the at the condo up at, on it, Gary or off Gary. Yeah, up the hill, uh, at the, what they yeah. called the the um, the mansion, comedy condo, comedy yeah. condo mansion, whatever. And and that's where Maron was staying. And he so hated Maron that he peed on the, in his bed. And then when Maron showed up, he said, "Guess what I just did? He said, well, I peed in your bed." And so Mark Maron is now going on the on these documentaries as Sam Kinison's friend. Well, he slept in his pee. He slept, <laughs> yeah, he slept in his pee. <laughs> oh man, you know, makes yeah. a good friend. Yeah. So, hmm. so if I have anybody that I don't like, I'll send you over to see them. Yeah. You can okay. pee in their bed. <laughs> But uh, what do you think, Al, of uh, of Mueller? Did you see Mueller today? I briefly watched it, and then I switched over to Fox News just to see what it, what about it was about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I went over there because it's like going to um, um, it, it's it's like going to some strange land where everything's the opposite of what it should be. It's a different yeah. country. Yeah. Very good. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, and yeah, we're, we're going to build a wall. <laughs> yeah, we're building that wall. <laughs> you know, are all the chains you away from it. Fox? Yeah, let's build. You the heard wall. the story that they collected all the chains into TSA that everybody left behind in the trays, and that's going to help build the wall. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, well, they don't have any train schedules in Grand Central because me and my friend stole them all. Yeah, you, you uh, remember the paper train schedules uh, that they had in the yeah. Grand Central? Yeah, uh, I used to collect those. I had, I had bags full. What were they? <laughs> what were Tra- they? the train schedules? You know, uh, uh, they were printed on paper. Okay. And you know, for like the Croton Harmon and uh, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. all, all the all the train. Yeah, so why train did you lines. why did you steal them? Because there was many many of them, and There's they no were there. Planets. You didn't steal them; they gave them to you. <laughs> yeah, but I took them as many as I could carry. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? You know, that's what kids do. I mean, you know, you're, you're hanging out in Grand Central. And you're oh, stealing. you're three years old hanging out? No, no, I was probably 12, 13, you know. I'm not sure. They think they still got them. Really? Yeah. Um, no, I'll, I'll take care of that. All right, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, 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 so, um, boy, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, the story that's really getting to me Mm. You know, I've been in lines before where, you know, you're like, you go to the DMV and you got to wait in a line and it's like 50 Mm. people strong, you know, that sort of thing. And, and I go to, to, uh, uh, but I don't know why anybody, okay, anybody would, uh, would wait in line to go to the top of, uh, Everest. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I, I find that story just phenomenal. Um, uh, if you got your camera on, uh, 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 Ray. Yeah. It, Put your camera on. Oh, hold on. I got to turn the light. Uh, yeah. There we go. We don't see you yet. It's coming. It's coming. There, there we go. It's going to come here so, shortly. Shortly. Come on. Come on, camera. Not working. Yeah, it's starting to fill up. Uh, you can't, because we get that damn Skype logo, and I hate giving those bastards. I don't know why it's not coming on. Really? Mm. Well, um, mm. You click on your camera, and it doesn't go on. There we go. There you go. Oh, hey. I gotta change headphones. There we go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yes, uh, Jeff. Everest. Everest. Yeah, Mount yeah. Everest. Yeah. 
nine or ten people have died in the last week or so. Yeah. Eleven. But there Eleven is a, yeah, there's yeah, yeah, literally yeah. there's a picture of a lineup like they were going <laughs> they were going to the counter at McDonald's or they were at the DMV. Yeah. It's like what's at the top? The DMV, you know. Yeah. Uh, these people paid eleven thousand dollars in just a license fee. That's not including what they probably paid the guy to le to, to yeah. send them up there and to outfit them. Uh, and there are all these people lined up, and they're lined up. What's dangerous about that is where they're lined up is almost to the top of Everest, where there's no oxygen. So you got to use oxygen tanks. And if yeah. they run out. You, and they probably are because you're, you know, you're just inching your way up to the top. It, it's horrible. It's just horrible. And I keep thinking of these people as like, maybe they deserve to die. Maybe this is a Darwin moment, you know. Yeah. And the Darwin Awards should be for yeah. every guy who's in that line. Yes, Jeff. I went to Machu Picchu. Yeah. And I, I, I Went there and it took me five days to walk there. Yeah, wow. and I didn't die. Yeah, how but, come you didn't take Uber? No, but but <laughs> but, but but was there a it was there a line going to Machu Picchu? We just lost you again, Ray. Yeah. Uh, well, there, there was a train. Huh? My my. Uh, there. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Now we got you. My yeah. mic's broken. Huh? Switch on my mic. Never mind, it's my own problem. The switch on my mic broke off. Oh boy. Uh, why don't you just uh, using a laptop? No, you you're using a PC. Yeah, it's, a, it's okay. It's my this mic. Yeah. The switch. Yeah. Broke. Oh. Yeah, it sucks. I guess it's no good anymore. Yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, uh, did you uh, did you uh, so that story has somehow uh, it just amazes me every time I see it, you know. <laughs> It always happens with these people. Was, I don't know. It seems like a whole bunch of them. No, but when I was a kid, that, Sir Edmund Hillary got to yeah. the top of Everest, and the whole world celebrated because he was the first man that we knew of that got to the top. Someone else may have done it several years earlier, but died coming down, and we don't know if he got all the way to the top. Uh, Mallory. 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 Right? They, oh. found, they found his frozen body a few years ago up there. <clears throat> and anyway, so they, they, they never knew whether he made it to the top or not. So Hillary was the first guy to get to the top. And everybody celebrated. In England, he was like this uh, hero, okay? This amazing Sir hero. Edmund. Sir Edmund Hillary. And uh, they made him, a, they made, served him, as a matter of fact. That's uh, what, what they did, okay? And um, now... Any dope can go to the top of Everest. I don't think I could. Yeah, but maybe I'm, Ray could, but I, I don't think I could. You have to train for it, though. No, the, yeah, the, the, these I, people to, yeah. these people aren't training. You know. Yeah, that's why so many are dying. Uh, uh, they are. Nah, they, they, they are, probably. but they're not enough. Now there and was just uh, one of the guys who died just recently had climbed the seven highest peaks in the world. Right. And Everest right. was going to be his last one, and he went up and he died. He, I don't know, either fell or something. He actually, he, I think he died, by, and he fell to the ground, and then everybody else was walking over his body to get nice. to the top. Sounds like San Francisco sidewalks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know. Except you might step and poop. Yeah, I guess. Something like that. So you know, anyway. I, I was... Uh, People are saying uh, about this that some people are saying that it's unfair to these people's families that they would take this kind of risk and, uh, you know, that, you know, they're breadwinners or something like that. And that they're uh, by doing these kinds of uh, uh, what would you call them, uh, you know, life uh, things, you know, dangerous, bucket list, dangerous, bucket, things. Yeah, yeah, bucket list type things. That they're that they're being unfair to their family, and uh, you know. But on the other hand, I know I've done some things like that when I went diving with tiger sharks, or uh, did the police reserve work. Uh, you know, it, it you know it may not have been climbing a, a mountain, but it, you know it's a similar kind of feeling. Yeah. Well, well, you can say every time you get in your car that you're being unfair to your family. I mean, so many people die in car accidents. 
I mean, seriously, it's just because it's a matter of. That's right, Ray. You you've seen me drive. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Your bandwidth's a little off tonight, uh, uh, Ray. For some reason. I know. I it's just microphone. <laughs> yeah. It, it, uh, it, Someday but everybody I'm, will. I, I'm all. I'm like jumpy, right? You, well, not not in right now. Uh, oh, okay. What happened? Is somebody else in your house like playing a video game online yeah, my, or something? Yeah, my my son plays constantly, so that's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. That's what's slowing you down. Yeah, I know. But there's nothing I can do about it. Well, you can, you, can, you, you can kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Great solution. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not, I've never been a father, so I don't know how that would play. Okay. Well, he's 22 years old, so that's a problem. Oh, he's 22 years old, so he'd probably kill yeah. you first. I exactly, yeah. 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 In my sleep. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is that, it, like, uh, well, the one thing I have here is Marjorie can be watching something on Netflix, and I could have somebody in the guest room watching something. I can still do this and get all the bandwidth I need because I've got this incredible fiber optic bandwidth aren't you yeah. hardwired everywhere i'm also yeah. hardwired everywhere too yeah. I, uh, oh, I am too yeah no, uh, i've got to do that i <laughs> always believe uh, and, and this is just a little hint to all you people out there the best thing you can do is hardwire your wife your not your wi-fi but your uh, your internet mm -hmm. uh, because right. that way you will get as full and rich a signal as you can possibly get uh, I had to rewire into the guest room just a week ago because it went bad for some reason. But, mm. but now it's get, I'm getting full up and down, you know. So Next thing I had to do my bedroom because I have a slower feed in there because I put in a less vibrant wire, okay? It was a, it was a Cat 5 instead of a Cat 6 or something like that. That thing that Rob got, where uh, you plug it in to different areas and it boosts the yeah, but, signal. Yeah, but that's uh, that's 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 Wi-Fi. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. But uh, it doesn't give you. A, a I'll more tell you what signal. I have. I bought a. Um, I can't remember what the what it is, but it it has four antennas, because my Wi-Fi in the bedroom went bad, and I put that in, and then I got this new TV set, this TCL. And the old TV set in the living room was had a hard time picking up the uh, the Wi-Fi. This new one picks it up beautifully. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and this is the cheapest TV set I've ever bought in my life. Three hundred. How old is the living room one? Uh, the the reason I ask is the there have been different iterations of Wi-Fi. Iterations. Like there's N and and G and uh, well anyway all sorts of I don't know what it is but this is the new set that we put in to replace the old one. And I went to the Wi-Fi, and it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm sending through uh, heavy signals on the Wi-Fi because this new set picks it up so well, and it's the cheapest set I ever bought in my life. Yeah, but it could be compatible with the faster Wi-Fi well, that are available today. It probably is, you know. Wow. Have you noticed this new thing? I don't know if you notice this on your phone. I get it here occasionally. Uh, 5GE. No, I haven't had the E. I, I have. Uh, I don't even know if I get 5G. Uh, well, on the phone. If you do if there's 5G where you are. Uh, you get 5G oh. E, which is not the 5G I think that you'd get off a, a 5G phone. Okay. So it's 5G economy? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so did you hear Mueller today, Ray? I did. Yeah? What yeah. what was your take on it? Shut up, Phil. <laughs> well, um, the first part about the the Russians. I mean, I mean, uh, Trump wasn't involved, but it, we should continue looking into it. And the second half of the Mueller report about obstruction of justice, he said it's unconstitutional for him to have brought any charges against the president, but he wasn't able to say that the president didn't do anything wrong, and that's up to Congress to decide. Um, apparently, if you read the second half of the Mueller report, which I haven't done, there, there, there are a multitude of things that uh, people testified Trump mm -hmm. having done that are just, you know, just ridiculously bad. Mm -hmm. um, John, I, I, I want to read it. I want to read it. Huh? 
done well, or the, said? Oh, well, oh, well, you know, Phil, I mean, they, if, if done or said, okay, so if you say done or said, then you're assuming they're lying about everything. No, so, no. I mean, I, he okay. may have said. No, but no, okay, but there's the do? intent to obstruct, okay? And you can impeach on the intent to yeah. obstruct. You, because you can have intent, but if you don't, let's say I have intent to shoot uh, But uh, this is criminal. Uh, but this if I don't shoot criminal. him, this is a political process. Yeah, I mean, if the, to, all right, I have heard Trump uh, excite violence against people at, at yeah. rallies. I've heard him do that. I have heard uh, Trump is, what, what the emoluments clause. He's breaking that, which yeah. is a constitutional violation. Uh, what else? Let's see. Um, oh, he fired. What he fi Who did he fire? Comey. Yeah. For, oh, he, huh? he could. For not. No, he did. He he fired him for the Russian investigation. He admitted. Yeah, fire I mean, him. No, okay. he did Wait a minute, Charlie. Is, is, Charlie, things. Charlie. As long as we have a picture of you now, just hold up the uh, what you ha show held up a few minutes ago, so that uh, people can see yeah. it. Yeah. There that's, we go. That's available. I just got it. Okay. And, and the minute. emoluments clause reading? in and of itself is 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 is, an unco is unconstitutional. He's breaking the law. Al, what now, did you, what did you say, what, Al? What? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Sure. I said, Charlie. Good deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and now Charlie will read us the entire report, right, Charlie? <laughs> sure. All the Democratic. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Don't talk. Let uh, hold, uh, hold, uh, say something, Charlie, so we can get your picture. What about it? Then? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad to read it. I used to love reading in class in school. Well, we we'll just leave through the pages a little bit so we can see the redactions. Are they redacted in the book? Oh, yeah, sure oh, they yeah. are. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sure they are. Well, that's there, one page. There that, we go. That's all redaction. Yeah. Well, if you that, paid eleven ninety eight. That, that, that reminds me of that reminds me that reminds me of Japanese porno, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they blur out everything. They blur out the guy's uh, face. Be and, quiet, uh, Phil, so we can see it, okay? Yes. Show it, Charlie. Talk, Charlie. Yeah, I mean, they redact almost whole pages at a time. Look at that. That says a lot. That, that says a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what area of the report are those redactions in? You know? I got to get my glasses on for that. <laughs> tiny print. This is a big book, and the print's so tiny. This is U.S. Department of Justice. Um... Russian hacking and dumping operations. Wow. They that, redacted that much when they were studying the Russian hacking? My God. I mean, I, it's an to, ongoing me, it's investigation. Enough to, impeach, to me, it's enough to impeach he, Trump when he encouraged uh, the Russians to hack Hillary's email. I mean, to me, yeah. that was like, that, that blew my Big mind, dope. that he actually said that on television. When he said that, I was done with that guy. I thought it was I mean, funny. Well, it, yeah, of course you would. It's not funny. I mean, it's not funny at all. It, they're our enemy, and he doesn't even treat them as such. He gives he gives the, he gives the North Koreans and the Russians more influence than he gives our allies, and that's impeachable as okay, far as I'm if I wanted something from you, but I called you a dictator and I called you a uh, sca a murderer and, and so forth. Do you think you that. would give that thing to me? Didn't say that he should do that. I didn't say that he should do that. I said, well, but he's doing the opposite of that, Phil. Yeah, he's trying to negotiate with with our enemies in a he way that makes them friends. With them. He's in he, they're in love. He's in love with, with the can't... murderous dictator. Oh, that's good. So, so if Obama said that, you'd be okay with it. You know, that's his strategy. Yeah, we're, you're so full yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah right, right, Al. Wait a minute, Al. Al, you Al had so ha, Al. Shit. I didn't have the I didn't have his screen up, but Al had a good laugh going there on that one. Yeah. That if yeah. Obama had oh, done that, full of shit. huh? What'd you say? Full of shitism. Yeah. <laughs> what about ism and full of shitism? Yeah, 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 yeah. A double header. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, it just doesn't fly, Phil. I mean, the guy's a fucking mobster, con man. Lie. He's lied 10,000 times. He's and I so guess he's a good politician. Beat people up. He'll oh, pay really? Have you read the tweets? How stupid most of them are? Hey, the guy's know, a fucking idiot. 
You know, what do they say about politicians? If their mouths are moving, they're lying? Oh, bullshit. No, it's not bullshit. Oh, so now you're saying... He is so much worse than all the rest of Wait a minute, wait a minute. Phil, now you're saying that Trump is a politician. Oh, he is a liar. He is now. He wasn't before, but now he is. It's always the... And this is like Fox News. This is what they do. It's like always whataboutism and scurrying around the point and... It's just like it's a skill that you learned from Kellyanne Conway and that other smoky-eyed bitch. Yeah. Like Kellyanne fat, Conway is starting to look better, you know. You mean Did the you fat? Notice? You mean the fat? Oh, you mean the nasty. fat? Uh, the fat pig? Uh, yeah, the fat ass pig. Uh, yeah, Huckabee the enemy Sanders of the people Missouri. person. Yeah. Uh, Al's having a good time tonight. He's just. Hey, this that's is... too funny. Yeah. Hey, Al, I gotta ask you something. I lost yep. track of this one friend that I had in high school. He graduated in 72. He went to Yorktown. His name is Steve Caldera. Did you know him? How many listeners are we Sounds losing familiar, right now? But are you sure you got the uh, best We don't have many listeners Cal- Caldera, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Let us talk about Steve Caldera. Yeah. Because that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's I, I don't know. I mean, I have, I, I've Steve. been looking on classmates.com and a few other things. So we were really good friends. And, uh, you know, I, I can't find them. Maybe he did, yeah. Yes, at our age, he may be gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Steve Caldera's prostate is okay. I'm or, sure or he is. Others. What were you I'm saying? Sure it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's really, really interesting, Phil. Uh, well, uh, you don't always we, talk we to ha- a guy we, from we, ha- we have no audience. We have no audience right now. Audience. It's very low. It's very low, okay? And yeah. you're dragging it into the toilet. Well, ah. then it's an improvement, usually. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, Al? Yes, sir. Uh, 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 do you know uh, Bob Fredrickson, by any chance? <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I don't. Now, I don't either, but I just wanted to know if you knew a guy named Bob Fredrickson. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Yeah, well, hey, you know, I mean, you how many kids mother. went to Yorktown? Not that many. Uh, you know, I, I don't think there was... Five hundred people in my school. We did. We yeah. got well, better numbers last night. We got. Man. We got better numbers last night with wallpaper. Hey, yeah. Bob, of course. You, Bob, Bob, do you know the man from Nantucket? <laughs> <laughs> I do know a man from Nantucket. By the way, yeah. by the way, you know, yeah, as, it's really as long as you incredible. bring that up, uh, uh, it, 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 as long as you want to bring that up, okay. Up. As yes. far as it'll as, go. As the man from Nantucket brings it well, up often. I, uh, it, it, w- you're bringing up one of the world's greatest um, limericks. limericks. Now, yeah. you know there are really no clean limericks. The limerick no. form is a <laughs> oh. dirty form, although I yeah. made up one once, so I could say I had a clean limerick. Uh, but uh, the... Uh, I, when I think about limericks, I think about what was the worst limerick that I've ever heard. <laughs> Are you ready for the worst limerick I've yes. ever heard? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. There was a young lady from the Azores whose snatch was all covered with sores. Mm. As she walked down the street, the dogs ate the green meat that hung in festoons from her drawers. Oh. <laughs> I heard you say that years ago. I love that. I love that. That's better than Nantucket. <laughs> what's, what, what's what? that? Uh, maybe they're together. But that you is know, the, like that's the, the worst one I ever heard. I think. Yeah. yeah. That is bad. Yeah, there was a woman from Nantucket, who's. I don't know what was it. What was it? Something that she no. could fuck it. Uh, and then I'd and always end, end it with, and the dogs ate the meat, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was the young lady from Wheeling. Yeah, I had a peculiar feeling. Right? A doctor named Boris just touched her clitoris, and she had to be peeled off the ceiling. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, we're going to get a lot of women tonight. <laughs> hey, we've got one more viewer. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there was a young woman I knew. Wait a minute. There was a young woman I knew who filled her vagina with glue. She said with a grin, if they pay to get in, they may pay to get out of it, too. I can't. I'm terrible. (laughs) There was a young whore that I knew who filled her vagina with glue. She said 
with a grin. If they pay to get in, they'll pay to get out of it too. That's the yeah, limerick. That's the, yeah. that's so anybody yeah. else know any limericks you want to call yeah. up? Anybody else here have any? How about the sophisticates? Well, what's that <laughs> Navy one? Uh, what do you, uh, uh, what do you do with the captain's daughter? Uh, I can't I can't remember the whole thing. You know, the, uh, uh, the guy was drunk. You put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. And, what are you going to do with the captain's daughter? daughter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put him in the goo and you... I forget. It's a song, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm so pissed remember. about my mic. I'm so fucking pissed. So there okay, was well, a young man play? named Trump. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'd buy a new one, I guess. Let's make up a limit right. for Trump here. There was a man named right. Trump. Limerick, uh, let's see, a limerick generator. <laughs> <laughs> Which from the Nord? There's got to be a limerick generator. Oh, here we go, limerick generator. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Which is, uh, so do you, <laughs> this is great. Do you, st do you start uh, it oh, off? Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, so we've heard the first There was a president Donald. named Trump. Okay. Uh, 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 something this person likes. Uh, what is a uh, pussy? Uh, place, uh, North Korea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, optional. Want to know when your app? And, uh, so please enter your. Oh no. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, here we go. Write me a limerick. Here it goes. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, uh, what the fuck? Where is it? Oh, here we go. There the once was a man end. who liked Pussycat. He said, see the lovely Elat. It was rather real, but not very weak. Oh, this sucks. Forget it. All right. Well, forget it. There was a president uh, named Trump <laughs> who had a very, a very peculiar bump. Rump. 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 By the Rump, way, do yeah. you see him with the uh, with the uh, uh, what do you call it? The wrestlers, the sumo wrestlers. Yes. Oh, didn't he give him an award? Or I something? couldn't tell which one was him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. He wasn't the one with the bun. He, he was he was just a couple <laughs> of pounds less than those guys. Yeah. Hey, you know what? How old is he now? Seventy four. Writing one. Hmm? I think he just turned seventy three, didn't he? Well, yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm writing one right now. When I'm done, I'll read it to you. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's the same age as I am. Now. He's the same yeah. age as you are. You're what? 29. What? <laughs> what are you? How How old are you now? 73. 73. Isn't it amazing when you get older, you have to think for a moment how old you I are. I don't really know. It's like, who cares? Yeah. It's easy for me. I was born in 1950, so. Yeah, that's a good thing. I, I'm 45. Tom. Well, my my age is always the same as the year's last number. Okay, like then right now it's 2019 yeah. and I'm 79. And when it's uh, 2080, I uh, 2020, zero at the end, I will be 80. So that's how I always remember it. Hmm. You know. Uh, you may have discovered a new mathematical. Gee, that formula. got that got the numbers up a couple. <laughs> yeah. The limericks or the age? Yeah, the limericks. <laughs> so, uh, do you do you think uh, Trump's going to get uh, 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 impeached? No, uh, I don't think Nancy Pelosi sees a benefit in it. Uh, you know, there's. Well, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Al Al looks like he ha actually has something to say now. So let's listen to him. Yes, Al. let's try this. I think it's just a scam that they're going to use right towards the election. They're going to try and keep his numbers down. That's what it's all about. They can't do anything to him. The Senate will block it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't matter. Well, I, uh, 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 Nancy Pelosi had this theory, okay, that he wants to be impeached, so it can then go to the Senate where he won't get convicted, convicted. and then he will say, see, I'm innocent. <laughs> see. Uh, it's a lot to go through. It has nothing to do with your innocence. It has to do with your political connections. 
Nah, it's a, that's a lot to go through. Well, I mean, uh, we, that's very Machiavellian. I mean, there's a lot of there's a good argument for the fact that probably Clinton was guilty of what they charged him with, but he never got convicted in the uh, in the Senate because they saw no value in well to begin with to say, and I I'm am amazed by this to say that um, uh, on the books. We would have to teach future generations of students that the only two impeached presidents uh, were Johnson uh, after Lincoln, and I forget what they got him on, and then Clinton. And when this class says, well, what did they get him on? He said, lying about a blowjob. <laughs> you know, I don't think we want that in our history books. Well, uh, I, th I, I think that, the dem uh, that Pelosi... Mm -hmm. uh, realizes that uh, the country uh, as, a, as a whole is not really in favor of impeachment. And uh, uh, that's, that's the way the polls are going. And, and Trump's popularity is up. And so if they... Trump's popularity impeach, is not up, Phil. No, it's about, uh, it's yeah, about it is, where it uh, has been all along. Well, right now, the last couple of weeks have been tough. <laughs> but, uh, what, what the situation is is that uh, the majority of the country wants to move on, and no, uh, the Democrats are looking. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Al seems to disagree with you. I just saw his hand. I don't He's think from your right. town. He well, can't move. Well, listen to him. <laughs> yes, Al. I don't think they want to move on. They they're tired of this crap. We have a bunch of rotten politicians, and he is not a very good president. End of story. Well, for the economy, he is. Yeah, but the economy uh, is, is, no, that, the yeah. economy is not everybody's economy. It's not my right. economy. It, it hasn't been uh, good for me. Who, who was the uh, weird-looking guy that was Clinton's uh, uh, bulldog? Uh, 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 what what was his name? His wife is uh, is a Republican, and, uh, oh, and James Carville. James Carville. <laughs> Didn't he come up with the thing? It's the economy, stupid. That is. But it's yeah. but but the economy is a different economy for everybody. I mean, I have not seen my finances improve because of this president. Uh, it's not true. Have, no. have, let me ask you, have, oh. Jeff. Have your finances improved because of this president? They've gone down. Gee, okay. How about how, no. how about you, Al? No, that, not better. No. No. Uh, you are employed also? <laughs> no, I'm employed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, Jeff. I also talked to a young fellow the other last night and he works uh, he works at Yale University he's a uh, computer guy and he said he has to pay more taxes than he did the year before and you're not going to pay more taxes if you get single payer health care and uh, some of the other things that the Democrats he want has, he already has good insurance Yeah, he won't for long if you have single payer uh, you'll have the government. Bill, that, at least be Phil, less on medical bills. Yes. You can raise my taxes all day if I have to. If I don't have to pay. That's because you're not working. <laughs> 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 you're very generous. No, but he's right. You know, I mean, if if in fact everybody has single payer health care and they don't have to pay for their health care, think of the money they're not going to be spending. So it's worth paying the taxes to take care of it. Well, those that are still working, you know, you think it's you don't like the fact that you, uh, for instance, uh, Jeff says that he's paying more taxes and he's not happy about it. So well, you think it, you'll be health happier health. if it's a Democrat that says you're going to pay more taxes? No, I just I answered that as as the question. Somebody says, what has happened to you? All right. And that's what's happened to me. Yeah. Well, I know why you paid more taxes, because your wife was so smart, she sold before the bubble, and you had all of this income <laughs> that you had to pay tax on. And she didn't That's lose all of, that, all of that money because you guys converted to cash at the very right time, correct? That's I mean, your wife is smart. I don't know where the hell she came up with that one. <laughs> you know, she timed the market perfectly, and you guys made a lot of money. So guess what? You're going to pay more taxes. You know, mm. Mm. Uh, an example you know. of one. Well, he gave That's the example right. of Jeff. You know, he says, I pay more taxes. Well, have, yeah, have you he made a shitload look of money. Look out the window. I mean, uh, it, it, the, the economy is better for the rich. 
the economy. Yeah. There are all kinds of people, it, it, farmers are hurting all over the place there in the Bay Area, Phil. You've seen that people on, live in campers and trailers parked along the side of the road, yeah, that's, homeless that's because, everywhere. That's because guys like you are charging four or five thousand dollars a month for a little condo in Sunnyvale. You know, I mean, you no, know, I'm not charging that much. Well, I have yeah. half a million people a year filing bankruptcy because they got sick. And I have Apple people living there so they can afford it. So don't well, worry yeah. about it. Uh, but, you know, uh, nobody should have to file bankruptcy because they get sick. And usually they can negotiate those bills with Phil, the that's hospital. bullshit. That's bullshit. That's hey, I knew a that's woman bullshit. that didn't have insurance. She had some sort of stomach thing. Why is and, it whenever he starts uh, with something like that, I think it's going to be a limerick. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. She ran up a million dollars in medical bills, and they forgave him. And and I got able, part of my limerick. I never though. heard this story. It needs well, to be the news. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, no, it's just somebody I know. Lives right. in Lafayette and okay. uh, you know, owns a beautiful home, but she was able to negotiate. Uh, well, that's uh, fine, uh, Phil, but th there are a lot of people who can't. Okay, can't, get can't. used to it. There are a lot of people who are dying because they can't afford to even go to a doctor. They don't have the. They don't get the the checkups they should be getting throughout their life, so that they can make sure that if something is out there like a, 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 a colon polyp or whatever, that they, they that's part of their of, of, of being taken care if of. If you're going to yeah. generalize, you know, I'm not generalizing, too. They Phil. Smoke Phil, cigarettes I'm, and not smoke generalizing. Other, I'm not generalizing. I'm not. Now you what about isms? There you go. Yeah, well, there that's exactly what that's you just stupid, gave me. Phil. That's there stupid. Are people, the fact you know, is. <laughs> That the, the people, if they are, if they're not, uh, if they're not afraid to go to a doctor because it's going to cost them money, will get the colonoscopy. They should get at fifty. Yeah. They will get the uh, the prostate exams. They should be getting on a regular basis to make sure they're okay. All the <coughs> things that are preventative would be taken care of, and they don't. A lot of people do not. Uh, involve themselves in these preventative cares because they are afraid of having to pay the bill. Okay? Plain and simple. It's all a priority. You remember... No, Phil, uh, Phil, 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 you're not going to get away with that. You just... David you know, you, wait a minute, wait a minute. You throw it off, oh, that's just a priority. But on the other hand, blah, 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 blah. No, Phil, it's, it isn't a priority because they can't afford it. Every day I get off at the same exit to go to work. Every day, the same guy is there oh, with a sign Jesus begging Christ. for money, Fuck and you. he's got cigarettes. Fuck you. Now, if he Fuck can spend you. What does that have? What, is that, what does that have to do with what we're talking about, Phil? It's a priority. No. <laughs> no, it's not priorities. People are living month to month. They don't have an extra $150 to go see a doctor. They just literally don't have that. There are clinics. <laughs> you know, there are free clinics. They're, you know, they're, they're there. They can go. They can get those exams. Have you ever gone to one of those clinics, Phil? Have you ever oh waited in one of those clinics? You mean they got to wait online to get free service? Yes, absolutely. Have you free. ever gone oh, to a, Phil? Have you ever Christ. had? Have you ever done something as simple as, in this day and age as going to an emergency room and seeing yeah. how long it takes to see somebody yeah. in the emergency room? Doesn't take that long. Yeah, oh, uh, oh, it doesn't. It been. doesn't. When I no. went for my uh, my. Uh, 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 what do you call it? What was it? The, uh, the what do you call it? The, uh, oh, the stone. kidney stone. The kidney stone. Five hours before somebody saw me. <clears throat> That's because they were enjoying watching you wreathe in pain. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. The word yeah. is right. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, every time I've gone to the emergency room, it was an emergency. Uh, I fell off a ladder. Well, I, I don't care. Leg. Give a shit about you, Phil. What I'm saying, I'm talking about the average person, and they the don't want to have to go. Well, you asked me if I've ever been to an emergency room. And I said, yeah, I've, I, I go to an emergency room. I had an emergency. Uh, the ambulance brought me in. They wheeled me in. I got taken in right away. Marjorie, uh, Marjorie, when she had her uh, uh, what fall, was it? Uh, the fall uh, yeah. we had to take her by ambulance to the hospital, to Mount Sinai. And then we mm -hmm. waited there for five hours before anybody could see her. <laughs> okay? Uh, Charlie's got they, his hand they got her. They got her a bed to lie in because they didn't want to get sued. Yeah, you know, but the fact was that it was five hours or so. I, in fact, I came home. I said, "Call me when they finally come see you, and I'll come well, back." And maybe you should go to Kaiser, huh? Kaiser. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I get in right away. Oh, good, good for you. Charlie's got his hand up. Yes, and he, Charlie. He's using his other hand to yes, support Charlie. it. So you know, 
You know you haven't shut up for a while. Go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> I was just going to point out that one of the complaints that, that I hear uh, conservatives say is that people in Canada and, and England and whatever have to wait too long to get their operations when, when, they, when they need an operation. I, when I ruptured a disc in my back and I couldn't even get out of bed, it took four months for my insurance company to approve the surgery to fix the problem. Four months. That's here in the U.S. Yeah. And I had to pay $3,000 out of pocket for that. Now, was that government-sponsored uh, health care? Did you work for the government? Oh, was that was what you did? Before I retired. I know, uh, oh, before you retired? Yeah. Uh, what did you do for a living? I was a computer analyst for the state of Texas. State of Texas. They knew yeah. you were a Democrat, and they were making ah. you suffer. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. nothing to do with... With uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield waiting four months before they say, "Oh yeah, we'll let him have." Ray surgery. Ray has his hand up. Ray. Well, I have I have written a limerick about Donald Trump. Would you like okay. to hear it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, sure. sure. Okay. There was an old geezer named Trump whose schlong was a mushroom-shaped bump. <laughs> he enjoys golden showers with Kim Jong every hour when he visits the dictator's trousers. Thank you very much. Uh, very good. That's Thank you. Really <laughs> Bravo. 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 Yeah. Thank you very much. Ah, boy. Trousers doesn't work. It's good thing you're in the He does love. <laughs> this, this could be your next job. <laughs> Limericks. Limericks are us. Yeah, well, that's uh, one of Bob Rubin's lines. Well, that could be my job. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, let's see here. So, uh, uh, you know, I mean, when you when you when you come up with these 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 silly notions that people can suddenly oh they've always got some place they can go. Well, yeah. the, the, I'm sorry, they don't have some place they go. They'd be going there. So if you didn't fill up the emergency rooms with illegal aliens, maybe their <laughs> line would be a little shorter. Oh, boy. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. says Al. It's not the illegal aliens. It's the people that don't have health insurance that are feeling, filling up the ERs. That's right. That's right. It's on the increase. Oh, they're going to the county ER. They're not going to the private ER. Yeah. You know, they're going to the county uh you know, yeah, and, and the county pays. Oh, oh, really? And then yeah. who who pays the county? Uh, the government. We pay it. You yeah, pay you're it. paying for it anyway. Yeah, right. So if you end you up might going to pay to the less, county, huh? have to go to a regular doctor for a lot less than going to the ER. Well, maybe we wouldn't pay it if we didn't give them that option. They wouldn't come here for all the free benefits. Oh, they're coming here for all the free benefits. Yeah, the Why welfare. And I'd say else? they should go pass here and go straight to Canada because there are no benefits to be had yeah, here. Fair. Haven't you heard? It's cold in Canada. Why not just these do Medicare people from for Central all? America? They don't like the cold. You know. Why not just do Medicare for all? I mean, why is this a political thing? Because like, it, why? How, why? How do you change the system? Uh, you know, how do you change the system over? Probably one you day we're going to wind up with Medicare for all. <laughs> But you can't just do it. I mean, you'll bankrupt well, you, the you Okay, bankrupt well, the you government. do it in stages then. You do something. Uh, I don't think, uh, you know. They, oh, you don't even start? You just leave it <laughs> all well, fucked up? Because the answer is probably not it. Medicare for all. The answer oh. is to, uh, to get the, uh, the, go back to where we had no profit incentive for medical, uh, pre-Reagan. Yeah. You know where but the rest uh, of the Western world is basically doing Medicare for that. all, and it's working really well yeah. overall. Yeah, it's a they're different society. You know, the and, only, and they're well, all the, different from the, each well, other. Too. Wait a minute, the only the only two countries that don't have uh, uh, in in the industrial of the industrialized nations does not have single payer health care is yeah, the United, wearing their hat. The United States and China. China. Yeah. Australia is huge. They have it. 
Yeah, they Japan got 20 huge. million people. 20 Japan's million people. Huge. They have so, a it isn't a matter of numbers, Japan, Phil. Phil, 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 you always bring that up, and it, you're, you're fucked up oh, in saying God, it, because man. it isn't a matter of numbers of people that are going to be dealt with. Because you also have more people here paying taxes. Okay? In Sweden, so they let's have talk. Pay. Let's talk per capita. No, okay, no, wait a minute. In yeah. Sweden, they have single-payer health care. Yeah. But... All the the refugees that are f funneling into Sweden right now are putting a um, uh, a uh, load on their healthcare system, and they're having a lot of problems. Uh, you know, there was just uh, some elections. Uh, was it uh, England and uh, where uh, the uh, conservatives have been winning? There is a backlash. Also in Sweden, there's a backlash on the the socialist uh, type of economy that they have. You know, you look at these things and you say, hey, they can do it there, but it's a different, it's a different animal. Uh, 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 give me, one of these countries backlash. is trying, has any kind of a movement to go, go to a U.S. type system. No, not they're not going to a U.S. type system, but they're, they're going more a uh, free enterprise system rather than a socialistic system. Not for medical. It'll happen there, too. Yeah, when well, they can't afford I mean, to pay. there's, there are far right people that are influencing all all of these countries now I and, mean, and by the way phil it's not just sweden phil it's france just everywhere. just because they 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 want to uh, uh change their system slightly doesn't mean they want to do away with the socialistic programs they have in their country that benefit them but when they can't afford to pay for them like greenland uh, and and Iceland, Iceland has having major economic yeah, but, uh, problems. Iceland right has. Now. I can't remember why Iceland is having the, the their problems. airline. W O W. But, no, no, but it has. Bank, and wait a minute. Hold on a second. Iceland has had problems, but it isn't because of socialism. It's because, and I can't remember what it was now, but there was something they did that was really bad. Yes, in the 80s, they invested in uh, uh, some sort of stock scam. Oh, that, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It was the same guy, the same thing that brought down, like, Orange County had, uh, there, there was it, some sort of, some sort of scam, and they lost all of their uh, investments. Yes, Yes, but it was yeah. it was a crook that came along, yeah. and they they. So what you're trying, what you, but what you're saying is, oh, the reason but they why climbed out of that. Yeah, but now you're saying that Greenland is in bad shape because Not of Green socialism. Iceland. It was Iceland. Iceland is in bad shape because of socialism, and that wasn't the reason so, they went bad. Well, they were depending. The recently they were depending on tourism to uh, to finance their uh, social programs. And when Phil, w -O -W the reason Airlines that Greenland bankrupt. had a problem wasn't because of socialism. It was because of these investments they made with this crook. That was 40 years ago. No, it wasn't 40 years ago. It was 1985. It was like, it was, no, what, that, that isn't, uh, we're not talking 40 years ago, Phil. It's uh, 85, 20, so it's 35 years ago. You know, yeah, 34. All, it, I, all I'm saying is, is that that's not the, socialism was not the thing that brought them down financially. You're well, lying. The, you're lying when you say no, that, Phil. You're, they were you're using, stating a mistruth. They they were using uh, uh, their their way of getting money was tourism, and uh, when the airline went bankrupt, do you know they, anybody they who down. wants to Venezuela? go? To, do you know anybody that wants to go to fucking Iceland for a vacation? Yeah, it, it's it's uh, it's a really neat place. Uh, I got that friend of mine, uh, Matt. Good. And you, go the you go there. You go there. I'm going to a warmer climate. Yeah, he goes there all the time, and, and he, there's unusual animals. He takes unbelievable pictures there. Yeah, good. You know one guy who goes to Iceland. Well, yeah. Well, you how know, many guys do you know the that go only, to Iceland? The only other thing I know about Iceland, I think, was Bjork. Hmm. Uh, you remember Bjork? Bjork? You remember Bjork, Al? The singer. Oh, the singer. Bjorn, Bjorn Bjork. Borg? No, no Bjork, Bjork the player? singer. Oh. Yeah. Singer. Yeah. She ruined her voice. Uh, yeah, never heard of him. Yeah, uh, York. Uh, yes, uh, Je Jeff. No, Jeff's never heard of her either. Jeff's got his hand up. <laughs> Shut up, you, Jeff. You know my son Andrew. Yeah, and his girlfriend. You met him once. Yeah, very nice. They went to Iceland a, a couple of months ago. Really? Just for vacation. Oh, and, and did he enjoy it? <laughs> yeah. They have a good time. Made point. Time. I know. Yeah. We got wonderful hot springs. Oh man. They really party in Iceland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They part, heard that. They, they yeah. party like it's 1996. Yeah. Uh, do you remember? Do you remember the Sopranos episode when they brought in some Icelandic hookers? No. Oh. Well, you should remember that. 
Okay, next subject. <laughs> I, there was a Iceland hooker I ate but, from Iceland. But to me, this whole thing about socialism is just is 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 a moot point. It's just all wrong. I mean, we're socialistic to a degree. Every country has socialism. I mean, we. It or, just depends on you, what you, you love. Want. Your fucking police department. That's socialistic. Four oh. out of ten people in the United States right now want socialism. What is socialism? It's government owned and run uh, no, business. Yeah, but we it. have that in a lot of areas already. Of, of all of it, though. Oh, so it takes the Nobody incentives has out of all working. Of it. Phil, Nobody Phil, will all. you please tell no, me? No, that's communism, wait, Phil. Well, yeah. uh, was he it, doesn't... Uh, he, uh, hey, wait a minute, hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. That said Ray. socialism is Ray the next and, step. Ray and Phil, hold on a well, second. was wrong. You haven't you <laughs> learned, Ray, by dealing with this moron? That he doesn't know the difference between socialism and communism. Yeah. It is. It's. It's just a step away. It's just a step Shit. away. What socialist a countries have become away. communist? Give me one example. Uh, really? I guess Cuba. Cuba uh, was never so. It was never no. socialistic, no. Phil. No, it was never socialism. It went communism right away. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, that bit, that bit, it, it, that bit, the holy yeah. grail. Wait a minute, wait a minute, that Batista, oh, wait a minute, hold on a second, hold on a second, Ray. That Batista was really a socialist, wasn't he? No. Well, yeah, he no. was a crook, but... Uh, no, no, I said no, he I'm, was a real, I said he was a real socialist, wasn't he? And then the communists came in and took it a step further, didn't they? Yeah. Bullshit. Well, they, no. Bullshit. They fucked over the socialism. There was too easy, you know, just to go straight commie. Yeah. That's like saying that the the capitalism is just one step away from from Somalia. Uh, no, I think it's the other way around. <laughs> I mean, Bill, that that's what you know. You have hey, the Somalis no socialism look, at all. The Somalis, like, oh the Somalis happen to embrace capitalism. They just use they use kidnapping and pirating <laughs> to get what they want, and you know. I mean, it works for them. You use socialism. <laughs> I, what I, about I, the tamales? I, I'll tell you something about the tamales. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 Not tamales. Yeah, tamales, tamales. Uh, tamales, tamales. You say you tomato, say I tamale, say tomato. I say tamale. <laughs> the fact is that, uh, I, you know, you're talking about socialism, and I don't know countries that are pure socialism. And I think anything that's pure anything is uh, is probably not going to work very well. That's why we have trouble with capitalism in this country. We're so yeah, capitalistic. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Just shut up and let me talk, okay? Oh, uh, you're very courteous. Yes. <laughs> well, it's the only way I can handle your courtesy of bumping into everything I say. The fact <laughs> is that socialism, uh, uh, you're, you're quite right. The, if you take socialism to an extreme, maybe you get somewhere around communism. If you take... Uh, um, capitalism to a, to a, an extreme, you get the United States. Okay. Uh, what about Israel that has a uh, social like the kibbutz uh, system? Isn't that that is socialism, right? Yeah. So uh, Israel, because uh, it's you know, Israel is socialistic. Kibbutz has universal yeah. health care. It, 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 well, they do have universal health care in Israel. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, it's yeah. socialistic. So, it, so hey, yeah, if so I can't afford to. Uh, well, because we're not socialists. We believe in the American dream. Yeah. Wait a minute. About yeah, medical uh, care? Health problems. American dream has to do... Yeah, so if people had medical care, then they could pursue the American dream. Well, if they had medical care, they couldn't afford because their taxes would be so high, uh, they couldn't have the American dream. Yeah. And, we, and our government like would waste so the money. Happy. Our government wastes everything people that they do. Oh, you don't think the insurance companies don't waste the money? I, I think they yeah I, I I think that the insurance companies are making the money and get and, put in their pockets right yep. it's yeah. just that uh, you know when you have these social programs like uh, uh, you know whether it be uh, Medicare or uh, Medicaid or uh, Social Security the government fucks up everything and just because no, you get your check right the government now government does not fuck up medicare no it is that's bullshit medicare is great the, yeah, well, the, the, the phil, shut, uh, phil shut the fuck up about medicaid because you're not getting it yet and you don't know how terrific it is medicare yeah. rather are you getting it 
Uh, and June first. Well, you haven't well, gotten. I it don't yet. think you should take. Where do you? Well, I, I don't think you should take. Phil, to Phil, if you do, if I you're a hypocrite. hypocrite. You don't have if to take it. Take you don't it, have to fine. take it. You can go. I'm sure. Uh, uh, what? You're not forced to take it, Phil. No, yeah, they tell you you have to sign up three months before if you, your if birthday. You, if you want it. Yeah, if you don't you want know, it, you don't have to sign up. You're a hypocrite. Yeah, I mean, oh, no, really I'm are. not. I paid for it. Oh, 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 oh there we go. Oh, not only do yeah, I pay we for oh wait a minute. Hold on a second. Else. Hold on a second. You're wrong, Phil. You didn't pay for Medicare. Well, you, I sit out wait a minute. Let me out. finish. Let me finish. Yeah. You did not pay for Medicare all these years. You're going Your to pay for Medicare at about 100 bucks a month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe. No, I have been paying at my business. I do a payroll every two weeks. And in that payroll, I pay Medicare no, you pay, to the government. You pay yeah. Social Security. You're paying oh, no. the Medicare, Social Security system. State disability, uh, uh, FUDA, yeah, FICA. Exactly. But, I, I pay it all. Yeah, I think it's all part of FICA, Medicare. No, no, it's no? not. It, it, when, I make the, when I make the deposit online, I have to break down each line, and I, get, you know, I, I do the payroll, my I get a point report. Is, my point is, Phil, you don't have to take Medicare if you don't want it. All you have to do is just not pay the government the hundred and what ten dollars a month or something like that, uh, uh, Jeff. Uh, that uh, they that they uh, that they want out of you. But I paid in into the pay. program since nineteen. Uh, I don't remember no, when. you Medicare haven't paid started. into your personal Medicare in all those years. As an employer, I've been self-employed for I don't know what forty years. And that whole time, I all I do is payrolls. When you do a payroll, Phil, you you'll don't know you're paying Medicare. understand what I'm saying. You don't start paying for Medicare until you start getting it. Uh, no, Alex, that's, that's, that's no. the premium. What? That's that's the, the, it feels right about that. Every employer. worker in the United States pays 2.9%, oh. and Phil has to pay it to his workers for, uh, Medicare. for, uh, for Medicare. Oh, okay. It goes into the Medicare system. Well, anyway, here's what I'm saying, Phil. If you don't want to pay that hundred and I don't know ten dollars a month out of your Social Security, because that's where it comes. Then no, they're going to send me a minute, bill. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Then you don't have to take Medicare. You well, don't I'm not have taking to, Social Security yet. You, you but no. The, but when you when you, you, you well you can't get Medicare until you've gotten yes, Social Security. You can. No, you, you get can't. Medicare at 65, but I don't qualify yeah. for Social Security until I'm or full Social Security until I'm 66. Well, I don't know how you're going to pay it because it's taken out of your Social Security. Uh, Kaiser takes care of it. They send me a bill. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's what they, that's what you do. Oh, Kaiser also a socialistic institution. Uh, yes. No, it's yes. it's private. Very much so. Very much. Yeah, so. but I yeah, but by law they can't they can't privately you can't have private Kaiser insurance after you turn sixty five. Yes, I they can. Have I have something to called Medicare. silver. No, no, no. Uh, here's my Kaiser card for uh, Medicare. See, it says uh, Medicare uh, right there, mm -hmm. and this is Kaiser mm -hmm. uh, because. Uh, and it's got the prescription drug all plan. All I'm and, saying, and Phil, is you things. don't have to take Medicare. You don't have to take it. But I paid for it. Oh, well. That's well. It. That's, yeah, you, you paid for that. Yeah. In fact, I'm, I'm still paying. Whenever I work, I still have to, you know, so pay exactly. my insurance. Yeah, yeah. I have but, to pay but, my 2.9%. Yeah, but, yeah, but wait a minute. Be, you're not, Phil, you're not principled. Yeah. Because yeah, if you were principled, you'd say, fuck it. Whether I paid for it or not, I am not going to be on the. No, you just want the Republicans to pay for your welfare programs, you know. <laughs> you are such a Thank fucking you. hypocrite. It's amazing. So you're going to have Medicare, Social Security, Kaiser, for Medicare. You're going to have. You're going to be Mister Socialism pretty soon. Hey, uh, you should you might know, as well I'll just put it on your torch. forehead, Mister Socialism. Oh, That's assuming okay. the Republicans don't repeal. Paid, it like you should tried. put. Paid for by the United States citizenry. No, 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 no. It was right on your forehead. For me. Me. <laughs> oh, wow. Music. Ah, there's the theme song. I didn't know. All right. I'm, I'm really losing. I didn't know which uh, which one to hold up and to use here, and the mu music came in too loud. Hi. Anyway, uh, are, hey, are you drooling yet? Uh, you know. Oh, I'm <laughs> out of it. I'm, I've been out of it for days now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, Pace I, acts, you know. I, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> punchy. I'm punchy. Anyway, uh, hey, listen, thank you, uh, Jeff. Really appreciate it. Al.
call again, mm-hmm. will you? It's great having you here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yorktown's represented in the and hood. By the here. way, where's Bree? We haven't heard we haven't heard from Bree in a couple of days. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, thank uh, Charlie and let's thank Ray and we'll we'll have to reluctantly thank Phil. Okay. Hey. Oh God. Anyway, you, why don't you all give a big wave goodbye <laughs> and I will uh, wave back at you. Okay. There they go, ladies and My gentlemen. Two point nine percent. Yeah. 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 There they go. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Okay, there goes our citizen panel. Let me get rid of the uh, Skype here because the next guy after me, who is Jack Bishop, is going to have to use it. Uh, We will uh, be back again. uh, Let's see here. Uh, We'll be back again tomorrow night, uh, right after we are through with uh, uh, the uh, uh, exchange which is with uh, Damian Chaplin at 9.30. At 10 o'clock, we'll be back, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.